All right, guys, so my honest review. Shall we begin? Hey guys, so I want to do a quick review on Gex. I think they're Gex, not Geeks, but basically they are liners for your shoes. So for sneakers, flats, boots, etc. So I saw them advertised on Instagram, so I decided to give it a try. I placed my order on June 8th. It was a pre-order, so to be fair, you know, it took a little bit of time to get a order confirmation email. No, I don't think I, I mean, I emailed them for a status. They reply, you know, apologizing for the delay. And then I got a shipping confirmation email on the 28th of June. And then my package was shipped out and I received it on July 5th. So I went ahead and tried two of their products, one for sneakers, as you can see, I showed you the packaging, and one for flats. Basically, you're supposed to be able to wear them every single day and not technically have to wash them, unlike socks where you have to wash them, hopefully, <laughs> after every time you wear them. Uh, these are supposed to be able to be worn always and never be washed. <laughs> So according to instructions, thank goodness I have big feet. Uh, if you have smaller feet, you have to cut them to your size. But if you have bigger feet, it just fits right in there. All right, so there's two parts to this product. One, there are the grippers, which are optional, and then you have the actual liners. The grippers can be put into your shoes that you wear the most often, and the grippers are supposed to be able to help the liners from, you know, not moving or anything, making them a little bit more permanent. Uh, since I changed my shoes so much, like I have a different color for every single outfit, I decided to not use the grippers, so this review is based off of not using grippers. So this is basically a good testament of how technically easy it is to put these in. I put them in with one hand, so that's pretty cool. Um, basically you put the back part against the back of the shoe, you then you smooth out the bottom part, and then you put the tongue part against the tongue. And then you push your hand through to make sure uh, your foot has some place to go. It, it's pretty easy. This is not a drill. Repeat. This is not a drill. Dude, as soon as I put my foot in the shoe, I immediately felt the difference. Like, it adds so much cushions. I mean, I wear these shoes a lot, and it added just so much cushion to it. It was just, it, I, I could instantly feel the difference.
comparing the soul to the unsold, I can definitely say the Gex put new life into my old sneakers. Like, totally. And like I said before, I got the insoles for the flat shoes also. It doesn't have a lot um, going on with it. Like the sneakers is basically you put the back in, you smooth out the bottom, and that's basically it for those. Here are all the discarded um, um, grippers that I didn't use. Um, yeah, <laughs> they're optional, but you know, like if you're like me and you have a lot of shoes, the gripper is just, you know, it's optional. And of course, I had to throw in a couple clips of me working out in the um, insoles. They are, I mean, they provide a lot of cushion. They definitely change the feeling of my sneakers, of all my shoes. I really, 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 I really do love them. What I haven't showed you yet is how to remove them. So you basically, and the instructions say, do not rip them out, but you basically remove from the heel, um, you remove from the bottom, then you remove it from the tongue, and then um, that's basically it. So I'm showing you real quick how I took them out of one pair of shoes and put them in another. You start with the heel, go to the bottom, bring it up to the tongue and then you smush your hand in there to make sure your foot has room and boom you're done putting them in your flats is even easier you put it in the heel you smooth out the bottom and boom that's it you're done <laughs> And just like with the sneakers, I can definitely feel a difference between a shoe that has my insoles in it and a shoe that doesn't. Alright guys, so my honest review, um, I really, really love the sneaker liners. Um, but because I change my shoes like literally every day, uh, it was hard, like it started getting irritating to take the liner out, put in another shoe. Even though it doesn't, I mean, once you get the hang of it, it doesn't take as long, but it still was like a little irritating. So, um, if I got my clothes done like the night before, it was a little bit better. Because I wasn't rushing in the morning, but I go to the gym at 5 a.m. So, it's kind of hard. Um, first thing in the morning to take it out one thing and put it in it's a little much um as far as the liner for the flats i'm not as much of a fan of those because there's not like because with the sneakers you have the heel you have the bottom and you have the tongue so you have a lot of support with the flats um it's the heel and the bottom and it's the the stickiness on the bottom isn't as great as on the sneakers so i think what i need to do is try the grippers on one of my favorite pair of flats and see if that helps um but for the sneakers i highly recommend them especially if you have like a couple pairs of shoes that you love and you wear a lot you can switch back and forth um but if you're like me you may need to buy multiple pairs um, they're not that cheap. I'll put up how much I paid for them. I think I got a discount because I pre-ordered. I'm not sure what kind of incentives they have going now, but it's not too cheap to buy a bunch of pairs. So I'm gonna stick with what I have. And you know, when I feel like I need a little bit more um, I'll put them in my shoes. Cause I really do love them. And I think they look really cute in my outfits um, without seeing all the sockage, you know what I mean? So thank you guys so much. I hope this review helped you. I hope you go buy it and I hope you enjoy it.